Two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. Welcome to What's on Tap Podcast Day 9. 9. 9. Uh, we have uh, not nine beers, but just one beer. Yeah. It, it, it's lucky that we don't do the actual... Uh, oh, that would be fun. Yeah, we just, so we just one, exponentially get you know, one more every day. So it's yeah. like, take 24, we're like... 24 Whoa. beers. <laughs> After having done 23 the day yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> every day's a beer fest. That would be a really expensive calendar as well. Yeah. Holy crap. Uh, it'd be like, oh, look, here's uh, three versions of Prips. <laughs> no. I didn't, didn't know Star or Promen made this many versions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, what do we got today? Well, I'll let you open this one. Yeah, because you wrapped it. I did wrap it, but it doesn't mean that I couldn't open it. So I don't know what it is. I don't... Um, it, it, hey, it's a bottle. We knew that is a bottle it. because uh, that's what it looked like as a bottle shape. Spiegel Goldenbroy. Yeah. Now, you may think... I have had Stiegel before. I and probably haven't had this, the gold bro. And you are very correct. Um, you have had Stiegel before. I've had Stiegel before. But this is a, this is not new, but it's new to System Belogget. Or at least oh. it's um, uh, not been available at Hansa. <laughs> All right. Um, I found this one at uh, Emporia. And I thought, oh, well, surely uh, Stiegel, I mean, we've had Stiegel before. It used to come in a can, and uh, the bottle looks really nice. But um, I don't... But then I was like, look, and 25 friend check-ins. I was like, huh. And I was scrolling through, scrolling, and scrolling through, and scrolling. <laughs> a lot of people had checked in multiple times, scrolling through, and scrolling. And I was like, wait a second. No, Martin. No, Martin. So what? then I had to go to your profile and do a search under beers oh. for... Um, Gold for Gold no, for Stiegel. Yeah. And uh, then I've seen you had had two different oh. Stiegel beers. But this one you had not had. Um, so I was quite surprised. And also quite happy that I was able to find something. Um, oh, I used the op- opener, but it was a twist cap. Ha ha. <laughs> I got tricked by myself. So we don't usually do um, kind of loggers on the show. Or golden blonde ales, I guess, would be also the technical turn for this. And this uh, one has to be a lager, right? I would think so, but it was called a golden brow or gold brow. Yeah. So, um, it just says, uh, beer. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's beer. It is beer. It's 5% ABV and it's a product of Salzburg, Austria, da, 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 imported by Euro Boozer Limited. Nice. I, um, I'm super excited about the fact that there's an importer called Euro Boozer. It seems like they know their market um, and they know what they're doing. Um, but, 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 yeah, there's nothing else on here that really denotes if it's a, something special. But yeah, it expires in um, next year, in March. I got a, uh, yeah. a, a, not, uh, Aust- uh, Austria makes me think of a joke. Uh, okay. Knock, knock. Not, who's there? Yoda lady. Your lady, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yes, it, it smells. Um, it smells like a lager. It smells yeah. like a beer. It, it it goes a little bit towards boiled vegetables in the aroma, more so than the crisp oatmeal. But yeah. just just a bit. Yeah, I, I think it smells pretty good. It, it looks. Uh, it looks amazing. It's yeah. It's like if someone said, "What is this?" You'd be like, "This is a beer," because yes. it is. It is what you think of when you think of beer. And um, yeah, lagery. Cheers. Looks good. Mm. Yep. It's um very minerally. Yeah, I'm not sure if that has something to do with um, the green bottles. Green bottles tend to give beers, uh, lagers in particular, a bit of a skunkiness. Yeah, that must be uh, sunlight. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. of the exposure and the way that the light um, travels through green glass makes them taste a little plunky. That's why Grolsch and Heineken and uh, I guess Stiegel taste a little different in the bottle. Oh, yeah. Uh, especially if it's been sitting on the shelf for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but but to be fair, when I say mineral, I don't mm-hmm. mean uh, skunkiness from uh, sunlight. Mineral no, no, for no. me more is like the way that uh, mineral water has a distinct little flavor, mm-hmm. like licking stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there is a there is a mineral nature nature to it. And um the aftertaste is it's really pleasant. 
Mm-hmm. It is a bit of mineral uh, mixed with kind of a, yeah, the malty backbone of a, yeah. of a, yeah, a lager style beer. It's, and then the kind of final taste is a little bit of a rye bread flavor, I think. Um, yeah. What, what, I, what I can shake is this small hint of like boiled cabbage, which is a bad. All the other things <laughs> are good. Yeah, I don't get boiled cabbage on this. This mm-hmm. might be a flavor, a flavonoid kind of maybe, thing maybe. that you're more susceptible to than I am. Because um, I, don't, I don't feel boiled cabbage at all. But what I do feel is an extremely drinkable beer. Um, it's a small bottle. I, yeah, it was 33 centimeters. It just looks smaller than the usual bottle. It does look small. It looks like it's slightly less than, but uh, yeah, just a regular regular bottle size. Um, yeah, this is very drinkable. I could drink a few of these on a summer day or on a, on a weekend, you know, if you're just kind of tooling around looking for uh, something to drink. This one certainly is better than a lot of the other lagers you find on the shelf. Um, I don't know. What do you think? It, it's it's perfectly drinkable, but it's somewhere around the 275 for me. Really? You're going to give it that low? Yeah. I, I'm surprised. What what is it? The cabbage thing there, that there's knocked some, it down for there's you? Or? Maybe it's not boiled cabbage, but there's something slightly off about it. Okay. Uh, Even in the aftertaste, I still kind of feel... I don't get that at all. Uh, I didn't eat anything just before, so it's not le- something like that. Sure, it wasn't that large cabbage lunch you had that's throwing you off. <laughs> so. Oh, my usual cabbage lunch. Yes, usual cabbage roll lunch, just eating raw cabbage. So, um, what are you giving it? Uh, I'm going to give it a 3.5. Oh, it's a big difference. It's a huge difference. Um, it's not really a 3. I recently gave some 3s to beers that were better than this. Well, I mean, I can't judge. I can't judge it against. I, I can. You have to judge it against other beers. You can't judge it against other beers. That's not what I meant to say. But I don't. I usually try to at least judge it within the style and um, the. For me, a big thing, a component is the drinkability factor. Is this something that I would drink again? Whereas I've had some beers I've given a high rating to, and I'm kind of like. Well, I don't need more than this little sample that I got, and I'm perfectly content having that much, and then I'm fine. Usually, stouts are can be that way, or yeah. um, porters or something like that. Uh, but this one, I I find it extremely drinkable. That's why I think uh, if you, I mean, if you were to put this in a blind lineup of of loggers and said, uh, you know, which ones would you drink, and again, which wouldn't, sh- I would think I would pick this one. I, I but, don't. But I think you would fair, pick others. Yeah, yeah, but to be fair. I don't know that no. I would be able to really <laughs> discern one from the other um, <laughs> if push comes to shove. No, that is probably probably true. Yeah, but yeah. No, it's it's better than average, is what I would say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I listen I listened to um, our recent most recent episodes, uh, like uh, during November, and I've realized that we never mentioned. The fact that Brewskival in Helsingborg for next year will be the last Brewskival. Yeah, that's um, really sad to hear. Um, I know they they had proposed a lot of big things in the coming uh, years, uh, and I say come in as previously. This was like in the spring. Uh, they talked about uh, but Bitcoin and yeah. all of the stuff they wanted to do, and I don't know if that was like a weird publicity stunt or something they intended and then it just didn't work out. But yeah, after 10 years, uh, Sweden's premier, like not premier, I guess yeah, premier first best. Yeah, the number yeah, one. Yeah. The number one, um, um, beer festival is, is coming sadly to an end. Right. We, um, I, I think we, when we do our end of year episode, we'll probably circle back to, to this fact and other yeah. beer festivals. But, but I just realized that, we haven't mentioned it. Uh, yeah, I mean that's true, and I, I feel I, I'm sad to see that it go. I yeah. know I, I always look forward to it, and it's been a real, um, it's been a real bright spot in August of every year. Exactly, and I read that the only reason they're doing it next year is to do the 10 year anniversary. If it had only oh. been going for seven or eight, there would not have been one <laughs> next year. I, I didn't see that, but that's um, 
Uh, from so, from uh, they're like this is too much work and it costs too much money and we're getting too old for this shit so let's just cut it off and they're like well yeah. ten years we'll just go out and exactly you, on a, on a, a round number and, exactly you, you know. can't go you can't leave with nine under your belt you need I to know. do the ten yeah yeah I mean if you if you hit that number you might as well do one more yeah I wonder what will take its place because I kind of had almost been like well if I don't go to McKellar at least I have Bruscoval yeah and now. If I don't go to McKellar, I don't, there's not really anything that... Going up to Gothenburg for All In? I don't know. I mean, all, all In's a nice festival, yeah. but it doesn't come close to Bruce, Gold. Bruce no. Gold's level of, of quality and uh, uh, connections. It's, no, it's just, there's it's not fun. even... It's like night and day difference. Um, yeah, it's yeah. like the Bruce Gable is is number one, and then there's a really distant second. <laughs> In Sweden, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll circle back... I know. And to this uh, on the end of year. I'm certain that we will. Yeah. <clears throat> well, okay. We'll wrap this up then. Uh, Stiegel's Golden Brow. Winner for me. Martin says. Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tomorrow will be a better day. Um, so until next time. Keep drinking, you dum-dums.